Again, we're just emphasizing some of the work that we've already done along the edges of the, the shadows, off of the core shadows. And uh, you know, a lot of the detailed stuff around the bands and the arms will also have uh, some work done with this color, but not overdone. This added contrast really brings our character forward. Now we're just really going to tighten up some of these areas that we previously went over. Not a whole lot. Emphasizing the core shadows and the contrasting edges is really what I'm focusing on at this point. Again, we're just going to go back in and emphasize these darkest areas and add more contrast uh, to some of these highlighted edges on the metallic surfaces. A lot of the stuff that I'm doing is just real simple, you know, flood strokes and uh, a couple daggers here and there, but also a lot of real soft application of color when it's necessary. It's not all just focused and line work at this point. We're not just going back in and re-outlining everything we do. We're going to sometimes create those edges that are formed by the definition of a plane and light and the way the light interacts uh, with the shadow off the adjacent plane.
you know, maybe put a little blurb at this point in the film. I suggest going to the cooler and grabbing a beer and, you know, of course you gotta be 21 to do that, but make sure you put that little clause off to the right hand side there. Must be 21 to go to the closet to grab the beer. All the detail work's done right now with the uh, dark gray that we're using. And right now I'm taking a little bit of the, the foundation gray, darkening it up a little bit, and I'm just gonna uh, loosely model in some of the clouds in the sky. This one's for the sexy little junkyard dog. At this point in the painting, I'm finished up with all my detail colors, and you can see how the, uh, the darker color here and the detail in the foreground really enhances the, uh, the whole concept of uh, you know, depth of field and uh, gives it some perspective. Okay, for this uh, Creating From Within project, I took a lot of uh, the input that was given to me at LearnAirbrush.com, and for some of the elements, I used my own art artistic creative license and uh, some things that kind of were from my own point of view or personal reference. So it was the, actually the cars piled up in the background. What I did was I kind of took the resemblance of a lot of the cars that I've owned throughout the years. I've 
got my old Chevy van that I used to haul equipment around with. A uh, couple of my Volkswagens flying around in here. Uh, an old Mustang that I have sitting up here in the back pile. So, you know, things like that, elements of my own uh, life, I kind of added into this painting a little bit uh, just to make it interesting and humorous for myself as much as I need that these days. You know, on top of uh, taking all the elements that we had provided to us uh, or suggestions, what we had to do was, you know, make sense of all that in some sort of environment uh, involving the perspective and uh, the lighting and uh, all the different indirect lighting sources and all the special effect lighting sources. So, you know, most importantly what we have is the, the value scale and the level of contrast increasing as we get towards the foreground and as things get towards the back they kind of soften up a little bit. And that's very important for what we've done with this painting to give it the effect that it has uh, working in a monochromatic scale. So I've gotten uh, pretty much everything else uh, that we talked about and then uh, when the cameraman wasn't looking I snuck in my tattoo. So that was my final statement on this painting with all the elements and uh, things we have discussed on the forums and uh, talked about the input for this DVD. This is my piece of creating from within.